Hi guys, I wanted to take a little time today to talk about the injury to Anton Forsberg. Now, this was a completely unnecessary injury caused by Travis Hamannick pushing Zach Hyman onto Forsberg. Forsberg sustained injuries to both MCLs, that's the medial collateral ligament. With friends like Hamannick on your team, you don't really need enemies. Luckily, Hamannick was immediately punished when he returned to the bench. Now, let's discuss the nature of the injury. If we compare the knee to the hip, the hip is a much easier joint. You have a ball joint and a socket and they fit together perfectly. For the knee, you have the lower parts of the femur and they are supposed to fit together with the tibia and fibula and they don't fit together at all. So you need the meniscus and you need the cruciate ligaments, the anterior and the posterior one, and you need the patella. And on top of that, you need the medial collateral ligament and the lateral collateral collateral ligament. Try saying that five times fast. And even with all of those structures, you still need the muscles around the knee working perfectly to make sure that the joint stays perfectly balanced. The butterfly position is a horrible position. I'm not sure I would even want my kids playing goalie in hockey. It puts a lot of stress on your knees and especially your hips. But the problem is that with the way you are standing with your knees, you're putting a lot of pressure and stress on the medial collateral ligament because it's getting tensed out and stretched out to make sure that your knees and the hip remain stable. So it takes a lot of the brunt load for the knee. So what happens when Travis Hamannick pushes Zach Hyman down on Forsberg's knee is that it bends further than the medial collateral ligament is supposed to go and it becomes stretched or even gets a tear in it. And in Forsberg's case it seems like he's got a tear on both legs. The issue with an injury to the medial collateral ligament is that you can also get damage to the meniscus and to the ACL. Luckily it seems like Forsberg was able to avoid this. That's going to make sure that he misses uh, basically the entire rest of the season. But uh, I don't see anything that should cause him further harm to his career down the line. Anyway, thanks for today and uh, check out these other videos on my channel if you want to. Bye.